Peace. This is a meat and potato sorcery production starring myself, the water alchemist. And today I want to give you a ritual and teach you about working with mercury. Mercury is the counterpart to the Greek Hermes. Mercury is a god that deals with alchemy, ceremonial magic, money, prosperity, and commerce. So the key that one should undertake when working with Mercury, utilize this ritual I will give to you. Write this down. The first is that you have to go through Janus, the double-faced god of beginnings, endings, transformation, and he opens the way. Second, you will go do Vesta. Vesta deals with altars and prosperity and peace in your home. So, quick recap in case you missed it. One, start with Janus. Ask, can you speak with Mercury? Second, you go through Vesta and you ask the same question and then you deal with Mercury. Again, Mercury deals with commerce, money. He also deals with communication and improving one's skills and their mental acuity. So, when you deal with that, Janus, Vesta, then speak with Mercury. Be very careful how you word your petition and be very specific because Mercury is very clever and cunning. So be very careful how you word it. Be specific when you are dealing with Mercury. Be very specific and to the point of what it is you want. Think of it as you're dealing with negotiations so that's how one should approach it when you're dealing with mercury and the term mercurial it can be quick-witted that's where it comes from so when dealing with mercury you deal in that aspect now these are the offerings pay attention he praises upon mercury these are the offerings frankincense incense you deal with that also offer me you can leave it outside i don't you know there's no need to have it in your house you can have meat wine and one thing mercury can get bored quick but this is what i want to communicate to the occult family and what he does like he likes puzzle games, word searches, and if you really, really want to take it to the next level, chess. But if you're not skilled at chess, use Connect Four. He likes that. So, if that's one thing that can please him when you're dealing with that, be very specific of what you want and do that. And in closing the ritual, this is what you do. You thank Vesta. You thank Janus who opened the way. And you thank Mercury. Again, Mercury likes games and he can get bored. Be very specific. Use frankincense, incense. And I want to say this. Mercury not only can help those that want money. Mercury also helps out thieves and those who are trying to be clever. So I want to offer this as something because with meat and potato sorcery, um, let's say that you're an individual that's dealing with a mom or a father that unjustly wants to use the child as a weapon 
and use child support as that weapon. Remember, even if you do pay child support, it's not the child support in itself that hurts you. It's the arrears. Ask Mercury to help you to become more clever and stay two steps ahead. That'll help you. If you are a woman with children or a man with children and you're dealing with a landlord that always want the money, but they don't want to make the repairs that they should make, work with Mercury. Again, Mercury likes chess, word searches, puzzle games, and Connect Four. If you're not skilled at chess, go the Connect Four route when working with Mercury. So, again, you open it with Janus, then Vesta, then you approach Mercury. You close it with Vesta, Janus, and you say thank you to Mercury. And that's how you do that. And Mercury, astrologically, is exalted in Virgo. So... That is your meat and potato sorcery for the day. I'm the Water Alchemist. Be water, my friend. Peace.